RimWorld offers us a surprising variety of animals. Sure, they're not exactly the strange and wonderful creatures you might expect to find in a distant RimWorld, far from our own, but there are a healthy number of species that populate this game. Among them, my favorite, the canids. Also known as puppers, these furred friends come in all shapes and sizes. There are nine in total, including everything from dogs to foxes. Each have their own strengths and weaknesses, and can offer your colony their own special something. Alright, let's rank some good boys. Number 1, the Husky. Probably the most common dog on the rim, it's sweet, pretty, pretty sweet, and an absolute workhorse. They have full trainability, can haul 65 units at once, and will nuzzle people up to twice a day. They don't ask for much either, eating a measly 0.8 nutrition each day. They have no wildness, so anyone can tame and train them as well. Clearly a good boy. Huskies get an S. Number 2. The Lab. Another great dog. Basically husky light. They have full trainability, can haul 56 units at once, and need about 0.64 nutrition per day. Like the husky, Labradors don't require any skill to train or maintain, making them really easy to care for. No wildness also means no filth on the floor. They will also try and nuzzle your people about twice a day. Oh, sweet girl. She gets an S. Number three, the timber wolf and the arctic wolf. Strong boys. Can haul, rescue, and fight. They're a lot more wild than the dogs though, so they need more training to keep tame. Also, they will poop on your floor. Strangely enough, their hunger rate is a laughably small one at 0.29, making them extremely easy to feed. Just slap down some kibble or raw meat, and they'll be happy to eat it. Pretty good pupper overall. I give them an S. Number 4. Wargs. Danger puppers. They can only be trained in the art of war. They're very strong, with a 4.24 DPS. Get a few of these boys together and they're a force to be reckoned with. You'll need at least a level 5 trainer to tame and work with these beasties, but higher is better. Being the wild critters they are, they can only eat raw meat and corpses. If you're looking to have a lot of them, your best bet is to make a freezer and fill it with your enemies. Long as you don't go overboard, this should be enough to keep your danger dogs fed. I don't dare give them anything less than an S. Number 5. The Foxes All three fox variants have basically the same stats. They have 75% wildness, a .16 hunger rate, and limited trainability. They also don't nuzzle. And they will absolutely take a dump on your carpet. Since they really don't do much, I'm giving them a... Uh... Alright, well they're pretty cute. S it is then. Number 6. The Yorkshire Terrier. Much like their larger ward brethren, the only training they may know is war. They may not be very strong, but they can serve as an adorable distraction to marauders. They're much slower than all the other canids, at only 3.6 cells per second move speed. They also have a surprisingly high hunger rate at 0.24. Their strongest point, however, is the nuzzle interval. Like the other dogs, they can nuzzle colonists up to two times a day, and since they're almost never busy with real work, there's a good chance they will manage to get both nuzzles in. I'd give this dog a C, since one time a whole pack of them joined a fledgling colony of mine and ate all of our meals before I could figure out what to do. However, I'm still giving it an S, because I realized soon after that it could in fact provide us something after all. And there you go. All of RimWorld's canids ranked, from top to bottom. Thank you all for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. And remember, all dogs are good dogs, worthy of respect. Yorkies too. After all, tender loving care provides tender luscious meat. Until next time. Or else.